Artist Paul Marcetti moves through a gallery of bare walls. Scribbled words on small pieces of tape mark spots where paintings of iconic American images will hang. And it's the creation of those paintings that has Paul reproducing history, one brushstroke at a time. At the present time, I'm working on about 12 historical paintings uh, for the Discovery Park. At his home studio, Paul nears the end of his 18-month artistic journey, completing paintings that will cover those bare walls at Discovery Park of America, a world-class entertainment and education complex in Union City. But in the park's quest to feature nothing but the best, they hit an obstacle. Liberty Hall, we, we order uh, prints or paintings of famous paintings like George Washington. And when they came in, they weren't really as good as we thought they should be. Originally, someone at the Discovery Park noted that on the Declaration of Independence, the bugle was missing and the drum didn't have any details on it. So they asked me to add a bugle on there. But uh, when I received the painting, uh, there were a lot of details missing. On some paintings, faces and figures were poorly rendered. Overall, there was a lifeless and amateur feel to the paintings. We wanted them excellent. We did not want any halfway uh, reproductions. They asked me to add a few details that were missing, but uh, I ended up uh, repainting every single painting from corner to corner. There is a bit of poetry in all of this an Indonesian native gladly reproducing all American images that celebrate the founding of his adopted home and refusing any payment for the work. Actually, I feel uh, highly honored that I am doing uh, these historical paintings. As the clock ticked toward the opening of Discovery Park, Paul began each painting with a blank canvas and deep commitment. Well, I tried to research every painting uh, before I start, I feel there is a, a big responsibility for me to make this as close to the original as possible because a lot of people that are going to visit the Discovery Park might not have a chance to go to, the, uh, to Washington, D.C. or to uh, where the original paintings are. As devoted as he was to this project, Paul the artist still had to put down his brushes and take time for a job that is even more demanding. Hey, repeat. As Dr. Paul Marcetti, he practices the art of medicine. Semi-retired now, Paul continues to provide care two days a week. Over the years, he's developed strong friendships with his patients, many of whom were pleasantly surprised when Paul's artistic side emerged. He got a photo of me and did a portrait of me. and. He invited me up to his house to see it, and it was unbelievable. Paul sees a marriage between his art and medicine. As a portrait artist, he tries to capture the inner emotions that, as a doctor, he's learned to read on the faces of his patients. You can see from their emotions whether there is grief or it is uh, uh, real pain or is it just a fake uh, uh, expression. And, you know, you can try to put it on canvas, too. There are insightful portraits of adults, children, and various animals. There are landscapes that bring warmth to a windowless room and coziness to a local coffee shop. Products of an artist who didn't show up until later in life, even though the journey for Paul began as a child in his homeland. Indonesia is a land that is full with artistic abilities. My mother is an artist, and she saw from an early age that I had some, I guess you call it, an artistic streak, and she tried to nurture it. Uh, my father, on the other hand, was more of a tiger dad, and he always wanted me to focus on my studies. The studies won, temporarily. Paul attended medical school in Europe, then came to America and settled in Union City. The artist inside stayed largely hidden, until a day that changed everything. Uh, we always go somewhere uh, on holidays, Christmas uh, with the kids. And uh, that fateful day, 9-11, uh, 2001, we canceled all our travel plans and uh, we decided just to stick around. So I purchased paints of all different kinds 
and gave them to him for Christmas so he would have something to do. And sure enough, he started painting. Even with no formal art training, Paul's talent at the canvas was apparent. In the years since, his work has been recognized, appreciated, encouraged. Actually, now a lot of people come to me in my office and say, do you still paint? <laughs> Instead of, do you still practice it? <laughs> but it was Paul Marcetti, artist, who labored at the canvas to painstakingly reproduce American history. You can copy a painting, but don't capture the character or the emotions uh, behind the painting. And uh, with these paintings, I have been trying to capture that uh, as good as I can. His is the kind of talent and dedication appreciated by an admirer whose own portrait was also painted by Paul and will be hanging near the historical pieces. And I think it's a labor of love for him and it's certainly something that is unique in that uh, these, these paintings will be, if not as good as, uh, if you'll pardon my expression, damn near as good as the originals. For the people filing through Liberty Hall on opening day, Paul's work has the look of the originals as well as the emotional power. It's a power that affects not only the viewer, but also the artist who works so hard to bring these paintings back to life. These are all very historical moments in uh, U.S. history. And uh, to be able to convey that feeling, uh, especially after I researched these paintings, it uh, made me very humble.